but tell us a little bit about why we need an airport and then when when is the voting? I'll start with the latter first. All right. And so in just in 20 days, less than 20 days, uh, there is an election on November 7th. And so I would encourage you uh, to, we're gonna have a brief dialogue perhaps about this issue, but I encourage you to learn a little bit more about uh, the, the topic about the airport and why it's so important. Uh, and if I could do a brief survey, Bishop. Absolutely. If, uh, if you have flown in the last year, how about you raise your hand? If you've flown in the last year. You've been you, on an airplane anywhere. Yeah. If you have flown in the last two, two years, raise your hand. If you have not flown at all, raise your hand. Yeah. So if, if I were in the position um, in, that, in answering that question, uh, my first flight wasn't until I was about 11 years old. So right. I, I never had been down I-29, didn't know, you know the importance of an airport or anything. But I remember that first flight. And so, so like some of the folks who perhaps raise their hand and say, well, what does this actually mean to me? Uh, the next question I want to ask is, is who's the registered voter in here? Okay, uh, that, that looks good. That looks pretty good, Bishop. That looks pretty good. Um, and, and the reason I ask that is because we have an uh, opportunity here in Kansas City uh, to go to the polls and actually to the uh, first part of your question is, why is this important? Back in 1966, 1966, the uh, city at that time was being led by Mayor Eilis Davis. Eilis Davis was champion building a new airport with the city council, and they were moving the airport from downtown Kansas City all the way out south, uh, excuse me, all the way out north to uh, our current location, and the airport was $150 million. Wow. Um, and at that time, um, we had to move it because the river, the Missouri River was running over and the flights were, you know, all over the place there, so they had to move it out. That passed by the citizens of our city uh, by 24 uh, to one margin at that time. And so today we have a opportunity since 1972 when the airport actually opened up uh, to rebuild an airport. Uh, I was reading the Kansas City Star and looking through some old articles and I saw an, a paper that said, Back in 1972, it was in the Kansas City, and it said an airport for the 1990s, mm -hmm. an airport from the 1990s. Of course, it's 2017, so if we subscribe to what the Kansas City Star says, uh, that means that we have outlived our airport. Right. You think about all of the security parameters that have gone into place from 9-11. Uh, we have basically been putting a Band-Aid uh, and patching up an airport that really is not sufficient for today uh, in modern times of 2017. Yeah. And so we have a $1 billion project that we're uh, proposing to put on the ballot, uh, well, that's on the ballot, and uh, I, along with my colleagues, have helped write the ballot language, and we're asking for you to go to the polls and, and, and vote, uh, because we have nearly, and, and I serve as the chair. I oversee the airport, so I, over, I oversee the airport, the water department, and also our public works department. Uh, we have over $500 million worth of repairs that are needed currently to our airport. Um, my friend, she was texting me this morning and she says, you know, I had to fly through St. Louis just to get back home to Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. So we need more flights, we need more connecting flights that are nonstop, a number of other things. I can probably talk all day about why this is important, uh, but I think the biggest thing is that uh, going to the polls, there are no tax dollars that are actually uh, your tax dollars. That's why I was getting ready to ask you, okay. what is it going to cost us? Zero, zero. Le unless you fly, Unless you fly out of the airport, and I saw a bunch of folks' hands who've gone up. And so, say for example, uh, when I go purchase a ticket, it's about $150. Right. And then when I check out, it's about $158, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so there's some taxes that are associated with that, and those taxes are basically what will generate and pay for the airport. Uh, if this passes in November, uh, we will start construction of a new airport in spring of 2018, and then the airport and new flights, 35 gates, will uh, start taking place in 2021. How many, how many jobs is that going to bring to Kansas City Councilman Reed? So there have been a number of studies, uh, and I can kind of go back and forth, but in general, the aviation department reports about uh, 17,000 jobs that will be generated. 1,700? 17,000 jobs that will be generated from the, wow. that's what the aviation department uh, reports. I was in a meeting there earlier this week and they say 800 on the construction side uh, that will likely happen. 
Uh, we have been working hard to make sure that the minority community benefits from this. So if you're a construction worker, uh, if you do um, journeyman's work or a plumber or what have you, hauling, hauling uh, items back and forth, uh, we're making sure that uh, the, the contractor that we selected, which is Edgemore, a Baltimore-based uh, company, uh, we're asking that, them ex that they exceed the goals. And so uh, this project, of course, a billion dollars, we're hoping that they can make sure that they generate m much of that to our, uh, our community uh, and so that we could benefit and also have a long-term benefit and community benefit agreements as well. Um, so it, it would have a significant impact on our, on our city and it will be something that I believe is a generational uh, decision and change for this entire city. Awesome. Well, Councilman, I, I appreciate your leadership, and Thank I you. hope that you all will go to the polls on... November 7th. November 7th. Turn to your neighbor and say November 7th. November 7th. That's what you say. Go turn now, to your neighbor. Now, <laughs> it is, is it Proposition 1? Yeah, it's Question 1. Question, question one, 1 on the ballot. And there is actually, if you're a Kent City resident, there are about three items on a ballot. Uh, but depending on where you live, if you're in the 23rd uh, district for the Missouri State House, uh, Randy Dunn, who vacated his seat, there is a, a person who's running for that seat. There are two, two candidates, actually, a Republican and a, and a Democrat. Uh, but then there is also another issue on the ballot as it relates to the Western Bible College. So there are three, just depending on where you live. And then, of course, if you're in, like, Lee Summit or so, you won't necessarily get a chance to vote on this. Uh, but you certainly benefit from it, so you should probably call a friend or neighbor or someone that you know. Uh, that lives in Kansas City, encourage them to get to the polls. Uh, it's expected, and it, uh, one, one last ahead, thing now that I start talking about this. Um, uh, we're, we're a church, so I can't really say all the bad things I want to say, Bless so I'll try you, to, I, yes, please, Lord, please, Lord. Um, well, and we talked about this in the meeting. Right. There are people, there are people who do not care about the black vote. Really? Bishop, it, Bishop, um, I'll, I'll put it to you this way. The, the things that I have heard along this journey are disheartening at best. Uh, there are people who, who, who could care less about the urban core, uh, the third and fifth district, and, and, and black folks in general. They don't think we're going to go to the polls and vote. Right. They don't think. But the reality of it is, is that we have an opportunity to, to make or break this election. And I'd much rather be able to help make the election instead of break the election, and so that we could show the folks at City Hall that the black community actually does vote and that they can't take our vote for granted. All right. I think that's a good way to say it. All right. So what are we going to do on November 7th? Hopefully right. vote yes. <laughs> and that's what it is. It's a yes vote. Yes, sir. All right. Give the Lord praise for Councilman Reed. Thank you, Councilman. Amen.